What's going on guys and welcome, welcome back to Chaos TV one more time. We're going back. This is part four. Negative. Part five. WrestleMania Greatest Moments. Uh, this is the last installment of Chaos's Greatest WrestleMania Moments. In this chronicle, or in this part, excuse me, I will chronicle uh, WrestleMania's 21 through 26. Now, there's a lot of great things, uh, you know, career changing things that, that happened, you know, within the last six or so WrestleManias. So, and, you know, with these last six, that probably some of the best ones that that uh that we've seen so I'm just gonna go ahead and get right down to it um, these are, again are just the best moments and matches and things uh, for for me okay now you you guys all of you guys and and I a lot of you have told me in the comments and told me on Twitter you know some of you have different opinions on what some of the best matches and and things like that are that's fine. I've got no problem with that. This is not me telling you, oh, this is truth. This is just more of my opinion. So bear with me. All right, WrestleMania 21. Uh, a couple of things of note. Uh, Randy Orton versus The Undertaker. Now this, this was the year. This was the year that everybody thought that the, the dead man streak was going to end. I mean, thinking back about it, everybody thought, because everybody has thought over the last, you know, well, since this point, right before this match, that if somebody's going to end the streak, it's got to be a new guy. Or, you know, like, not a new guy, but like, someone who's not Shawn Michaels, or Triple H, or Ric Flair, or Mark Henry. You know, Henry's not going to win that. Randy Orton, to me, fit this bill. And that's why I thought going into this that this was going to be, you know, this was it. This was going to be the streak. Didn't turn out that way. Taker won and, and kept, you know, the streak still alive. Uh, Shawn Michaels versus Kurt Angle. They had a 30 minute Iron Man match, which was phenomenal. All right, and if you haven't seen that match, you're doing a huge injustice in your wrestling knowledge, and you need to go back and watch that match. Again, that is one of the matches that I put on that level where that's the kind of match you need to have at WrestleMania. You need to bring your A game. Uh, <clears throat> I only put this on here just because it's never happened before and probably will never happen again. The sumo match between the Big Show and Aki Bono. Uh, the funniest thing about this, the Big Show wearing a diaper. Thank you. Uh, and then, of course, uh, Cena and Batista win their first world uh, world titles, beating uh, John Bradshaw Layfield and Triple H, respectively. Uh, WrestleMania 22. Oh, excuse me, I forgot. WrestleMania 21, you had the very first ever Money in the Bank uh, match, which, of course, we all know Edge won uh, and cashed in. Uh, the next January, he kept it all that time and cashed it in the next January uh, at New Year's Revolution against uh, John Cena after that hellacious, hellacious uh, Elimination Chamber match. Uh, WrestleMania 22, the Money in the Bank opened the show, which was the trend for the next couple of years. Uh, Rob Van Dam won it. I was very happy with that when he cashed in and, and beat John Cena at a at, uh, at one night stand, it was just that was one of the most phenomenal experiences I've ever remember sitting on my couch and watching. Uh, my buddy Jerry was there with me watching, and we were just couldn't believe what we saw. Uh, of course, RVD is just, I mean, come on, Rob Van Dam. I mark out for Van, for Van Dam just because I can. Edge and Foley had a had a great uh, street fight uh, that just. Uh, when you when you play with fire, it's always it's always good. Uh, Mickey and Trish Stratus had probably one of the best women's matches we've ever seen on a WrestleMania, and they had another good match the next month at Backlash. Although Trish got injured in that match, uh, 
they they probably would have had a couple of good matches after this. But this is a really good match, and and you know, the the match wasn't all that good. But as far as uh, women's matches go at WrestleMania, it was it was okay for the most part. Uh, then you had uh, Shawn Michaels versus VKM, haha, <laughs> HBK and VKM, Vincent Kennedy McMahon. Uh, that's Junior, by the way. And we had, uh, of course, Sean on top of the ladder, giving the DX sign, and then jumping off. It was it was totally great. Uh, on to Vince laying on the table in a garbage can, by the way, which was phenomenal. And then you had Cena versus Triple H, which I thought was a really great match. And to this day, uh, you know, Cena, you, you can say all you want about John Cena, but Cena brings it at WrestleMania. He always does. Uh, I guess it's just because of the magnitude of the moment and whatever. But Cena always has really good outings at WrestleMania. Uh, WrestleMania 23, the uh, Money in the Bank winner, Mr. Kennedy. Anderson. Okay. And then uh, Shawn Michaels and... Uh, and uh, John Cena closed the show. No, there's nothing really of of note on this WrestleMania. It wasn't really one of the better ones, I didn't think. Uh, the Cena Michaels match kind of stole the show for me. Uh, WrestleMania 24, the Money in the Bank. Uh, CM Punk wins his first Money in the Bank, which of course I'm a huge Punk mark, so I just I love that. Uh, Orton, Cena, and Triple H had a phenomenal Triple Threat match where Randy Orton went over and you just didn't see it like going into it we were all wanting Randy Orton to win this match everybody that I watched I mean I had a whole crew uh, I went to a guy's house and we got uh, a whole crew together to watch this pay-per-view and I remember we all just popped when Orton won and you know Orton being the heel at the time uh, everybody thought that either Cena or, Cena or Triple H was gonna win and Triple H had it won and then lost because he got kicked in the head. Um, I only put this on here because it's one of the bigger moments of WrestleMania. Floyd Mayweather, the Floyd Mayweather Jr. versus The Big Show. It's uh, look, I hate Floyd Mayweather. I always have. Uh, I just I don't like the guy. I don't. I'm not a huge boxing fan, as most of you know. I'm a huge MMA fan, but I don't. I just don't like Floyd. Period. Uh, but you, you gotta admit, you gotta respect the guy because he's cocky and he backs up everything he says. Uh, and you know, he went into this, and a lot of like boxing, boxing fighters said that you know he shouldn't get into this because he you know he could get hurt. But he was, of course, taken very, very much care of by the Big Show, uh, a constant uh, professional, and he always does the right things. You know, I mean, he, he's he's one of those guys that, on a respect level, you just gotta respect him. Uh, and then Taker Edge, this was another time where we thought. Uh, the streak could end, and it would be a good time for it to end. Not as much as the Orton, but as the Orton match. But most of us saw Taker winning and winning the world title. But we we kind of kept in hope that uh, that Edge was going to win. And I do want to uh, I do want to say this was the, probably the best uh, Undertaker match that he had had since the Orton match. And it outshadowed the Orton match. It was a whole lot better. I guess being for the world title, they had to up their game a little bit. And which they did. WrestleMania 25, the money in the bank again. CM Punk wins for the second year in a row. He's the only man to to have won the money in the bank match at WrestleMania two times. Uh, of course, Edge had the briefcase, but he won the briefcase. He didn't win it at WrestleMania. He won it from uh, Mr. Kennedy Anderson. Uh HBK Taker won, which I thought outshadowed the first one. I thought the build-up and the lead into the match was, you know, probably a hundred times better than the second one because it just seemed like they were just trying to relive the moment, if you will, in the second one. So they they put Sean's career on the line and try to make it as big, but it wasn't. 
Uh, and then Triple H Orton, which to me, two of the guys that I always think have great matches. One of two of the best wrestlers, you know, today. And they they uh you know, they closed the show that night, which a lot of people thought that uh Taker and HBK should have closed the show because they were so, the fans were so out of it by the time the, the main event got there that they didn't have the pop. And this was a huge story going in. I, uh, I remember, you know, even Triple H going to Randy Orton's home in St. Louis and throwing him through the, the, the window into his front. You know, he was in the house and threw him through the window and he, like, rolled outside. It was just phenomenal buildup. Uh, and then uh, with Orton DDTing Stephanie and then kissing her was just... Oh man, it, it, it kind of blurs those lines for some people between real and, and, and story. And it God, it just got so good there. Uh, WrestleMania 26, last year's show. Uh, for me, not the Money in the Bank. The Money in the Bank, for the first time, was a big letdown to me. Uh, I guess it was because Swagger won, but it just wasn't one of the, one of the you know... We were looking forward. We were all looking forward to it, but it wasn't one of those things where we uh, we weren't left satisfied. Now we thought that Swagger was deserving of it, but we just—I don't know—I I guess it just kind of left a sour taste in our mouth, and we didn't know uh, we didn't we didn't like the outcome of it. So anyway, uh, Randy Orton versus Ted DiBiase versus uh, Cody Rhodes was phenomenal. Uh, let's not talk about Brett versus Vince. Rey Mysterio and CM Punk, again, two of the guys that just can go. And on a big stage, had a great match. And then, of course, uh, I'm not even going to mention the title matches because they weren't even any good. Uh, Taker, Triple H, or Taker, HBK2. Uh, Sean loses and has to retire. Uh, it was still a really great match. And there were more of those same moments where it looked like Sean was about to beat him. And it was phenomenal. It was really great. And I you know, I I still love the match. I just think the first one was better. Uh, but a lot of people would disagree with me and think that the second one topped anything that the first one could have done. But then again, that's just, you know, my opinion versus the world, I guess. So that says the stage. What from this WrestleMania, WrestleMania 27, is going, what what would make the list? Well, looking at the card, I can tell you, uh, Randy Orton versus CM Punk will probably make, if I was to do this next year, you know, another greatest moments or whatever, I would put that, that is probably going to be on that list. Also, uh, Taker and Triple H, uh, Depending on what they do with The Rock, uh, you know, and The Miz and Cena, that, that could be there as well. Uh, I think Daniel Bryan and Sheamus is going to have a really good match. I don't think it's going to be spectacular. It's not going to steal the show, but it's going to be a, a nice good match. Uh, and then Cody Rhodes and Rey Mysterio again. That that's one of those that it's not going to steal the show, but it's uh, it's going to be really good. I I still think Punk and and Orton are going to steal the show, but uh, you know that match is going to fall like right under it in the hierarchy of what was the best match. That's probably going to fall right up under it. Uh, I have total confidence in Cody Rhodes. I think he's going to be able to have a great match with Rey Mysterio. Now, that's my thoughts. That is part five. The greatest moments in WrestleMania history. Uh, what did I leave out? Not much. Trust me, I did a lot of research on this. And the, the, for me, now again, this is for me. There weren't a whole lot of other things that uh, were just really phenomenal and really great that stood out. But again, five, you know, five videos chronicling 26 years is hard to do. And uh, I did them all in the time allotted. So... Thank you, standing applause, standing ovation for me. Now, until next time, this is Chaos saying I'm out.